In this video, we're going to look at the bootstrapping process where we're going to bootstrap the spot rates using the power rates. So the spot rates will then be used to calculate forward rates and we can also use the spot rates to calculate the present value of a bond's cash flows. So let's say we have a 1-year power rate of 4%, a 2-year power rate of 5.2%, a 3-year power rate of 6.4%. And we are required to compute the 1-year, 2-year, and the 3-year spot rates using the bootstrapping process. So what power rate here indicates is that the bond's yield to maturity is the same as the coupon rate. Okay, so that is what it means by a power rate. So what that means is that for, a, let's say, this 2-year power rate of 5.2%, so it means that for a 2-year bond, okay, the YTM is equals to 5.2%, and the coupon rate is also 5.2%. So that would mean that the price of the bond will be equals to its par value. So for the one year par rate, this is for a one year bond that pays a 4% coupon and the yield to maturity is also 4%. Now for the purpose of the computation, I will take the par value as $1. Okay, and the bond that pays 4% coupon, so the coupon will be 4% times $1, that's 4 cents. So the coupon and plus the principal or the par value. So for a one year bond would be $1 par value plus the coupon of 4 cents. Okay, and then we divide by one plus the one year spot rate. So that would be equals to par. Okay, so price is equals to par, which is $1 in this case. If you work this out, you'll find that the one year spot rate will be equals to 4%. So usually for the one year par rate, it is also equals to the one year spot rate. So we're done for the first part. Now for the second part, if you're calculating the two-year spot rate, so we'll start with the two-year par rate. So that's a two-year bond, and uh, the yield is 5.2%, and the uh, coupon is 5.2%. So we'll take 5.2% times $1, so that's uh, the coupon will be 0 0.052. And we'll discount this coupon using the one-year spot rate, which uh, is 4%. So that's 1.04 to the power of 1. And plus, of course, the second year will be the par value plus the coupon. And then we divide by the two year spot rate. And this is the power of two. And the price is equals to par, which is $1. Now, if you work this out, you will find that S sub two, which is the two year spot rate, is equals to 5.2316%. Okay, so that's the two year spot rate. And for the three year, Spot rate, we will take the 3-year power rate, 6.4%. So this is a bond that where the YTM and the coupon rate are both equals to 6.4% and the price is equals to par. So the coupon will be 6.4% times $1. So that's 0 0.064 as a coupon. Uh, we will discount this using the 1-year spot rate. So that's 1.04 to the power of 1. And then the coupon in year 2 will be 0 0.064. We'll discount this using the two-year spot rate that we just obtained, 5.2316%. Okay, and this is power of two. And then in the third year, we have the par value plus coupon. And then this is discounted using the three-year spot rate. And the price is equals to par. So if you work this out, you'll find that the three-year spot rate is equals to 6.5066%. So there we have it, we have the spot rate for these three periods. So these spot rates can then be used to discount cash flows in one year, two years and three years time. Now let's say once we've obtained the spot rate, okay, we may be asked to calculate, let's say the one year forward rate starting from today, one year from now and two years from now. So if I'm calculating the one year forward rate, which is starting from today, so it starts today and it is for one year. So this is exactly equals to your spot, uh, one year spot rate. Okay, so your one year forward rate that starts today is actually equals to the spot rate. So there is no computation needed here. So this is just equals to 4%. Now for B, so we want to find the one year forward rate one year from now. So the forward rate starts one year from now and it is for a period of one year. Okay, for one year, so that will be up to year two. So we want to find out what is F11. 
So to do that, we need to know what is the spot rate for two years, which is uh, we found that as 5.2316%. And then we need to know the one year spot rate, which is 4%. So based on the forward rate model, we will take uh, 1.052316. Okay, we will compound this for two years. And the future value should be equals to the compounded value of 4% for one year multiplied by 1 plus the forward rate for one year. And if you work out this number, so the forward, the one year forward rate one year from today will be equals to 6.4778%. And for the last part, the one year forward rate starting two years from now so let's draw. So if it's starting two years from now, this point for one year, so they'll be up to year three. Okay, so that's starting in year two for one year. So we need to know what is the two year spot rate, which is 5.2316%. Uh, and we need to know the three year spot rate, okay, which is 6.5066%. So again, if we compound 6.5066% uh, for three years, that should be equals to uh, the compounded value of 5.2316% for two years. And then uh, we compound that with the forward rate for another year. So the one year forward rate that starts two years from now will be 9.1031%. Now with the spot rate and then and the forward rate, we can use either one of these to compute the no arbitrage value. And we'll do it for a three year 5.5% bond with a par value of 100. And I'll take this as an annual pay bond. And we'll do this using both the spot rates and also the forward rates. And we'll see that the value that we obtain are actually the same. Now if you're using the spot rates, okay, for this bond, again, I'll take a par value, uh, par value of 100. So a 5.5% times 100 means the coupon will be 550. So the value of the bond using spot rates, okay, that will be 550 in the first year. And we'll discount it using 4% spot rate. So that's 1.04 power 1. And the second year coupon is 550. And then discount using 5.2316% to power of 2. And then for the third year, there will be 100 par plus coupon divide by the third three year spot rate so that's a uh, 1.065066 to the power of 3 so that will be equals to 97.5770 now if you're using the forward rates so the value will be based on the coupon in the first year 550 and then we discount it using the one year forward rate starting from today that's four percent so that's 1.04 to the power of 1 and for the second year the coupon is also 550 and uh, we, when we discount this, we'll use the two forward rates here. So that is 1.04 from 0 0.0 to 0 0.1. And then from year 1 to year 2, that's 6.4778%. So that's 1.064778. Okay, and then for the third year, this will be a bit longer. So this will be 100 plus 550. And then uh, we will need to discount it using the three forward rates here. So that's uh, 1.04 times 1.064778 times 1.091031 and if you discount this and sum up everything you will also get 97.5770 so whether you are given the spot rates or, or yeah, whether you are given forward one year forward rates okay you can actually use them to compute the no arbitrage value of a bond okay so just keep in mind that uh, they are actually all equivalent in this case so just a quick note here so let's say for the two-year spot rate versus the uh, the one year forward rate starting one year from now uh, what this is saying is that if you look at the timeline from zero to one and one to two so if you have a two-year spot rate of 5.2316 percent okay and from zero to one that's four percent and from year one to year two that's a uh, 6.4778 percent mm -hmm. Okay, so that's uh, for the one year forward rate starting one year from now. Okay, and for the three year spot rate, okay, it is equivalent to a series of one year forward rates for that period of three years. So 
if I draw a pair of three years here, zero to three. So from zero to three, we have a six point five zero six six percent, and then uh, we have the one year forward rate starting from today four percent, and then the one year forward rate starting one year from now that's six point four seven seven eight percent, and the one year forward rate from starting from year two that will be 9.1031%. Okay, so these are all equivalent.